Jack O'Connor is about to walk inside the school he attended when he was just a little boy. I'm excited now because I want to see the rooms where I used to do classes and we're going to do that. O'Connor, who is the mayor of Waterloo, took us on a trip down memory lane. The room here, on my, as I look at it, was the uh, was our first grade. It's probably not as big as we made it, but it, it is. That's where I went to first grade. O'Connor is celebrating today because this vacant historic building he once knew is getting some much needed TLC and a new purpose. I'd like to thank everyone who can make it today. David Kimmel hosted a press conference outside the school. Kimmel works for Lakewood Development. He is the site manager for this affordable housing development project. He says it comes with close to a $14 million price tag. The existing Main Street structure is being transformed into a 35 apartment complex for seniors. Kimmel says he helped select the location and put together the financing. It's utilizing funds from New York State Homes and Community Renewal, but also utilizing historic tax credits. So as part of this project, the school has actually been listed as a historic landmark with the National Register, which allows us to access the historic tax credits in return for keeping some historic features. Present. New York State Senator Pam Helming was also there. Helming says she worked with the Office of Housing and Community Development to help make this happen. It provides critically needed housing, safe, secure, clean, reliable housing for our seniors. It also provides job opportunities for members of our community, has a significant economic benefit, and it's, it's just tremendous all around. As I'm walking towards Gym. Tremendous also for Mayor O'Connor, who says he couldn't think of a better way to update the space that means so much to him. It's enlightening that I can remember a lot of things as a, that young, and uh, but to see the, the construction, what you're making it into, is very uh, rewarding. For Finger Lakes One, Rebecca Swift and Nate Charman.